Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Experience Points. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of the Stalingrad campaign for the Soviets with the uh, Don Offensives. So, let's just have a gander and see how the brilliance was achieved. As it always takes a little bit to load up. I must admit this game has been an incredible amount of fun for a simple indie game and uh, quite replayable. I'm always trying to get these uh, perfect or brilliant uh, victories. Okay, so just going back from the start. And here we go. I found at first it was best to try to break through and um, push. <laughs> your armor and try to get as far to these objectives, it's generally very hard to take them if they have already um, placed a unit on it because you're taking it across the river. Uh, so it's just about pushing up and taking out most defensive units, particularly this fella because he can be quite devastating. off these units so that they can't come forward. Attacking this unit first because this one has to go across the river. And try and get onto the to the river so that you have that better uh, offensive edge. Just holding a unit here to make sure that they can't block off your uh, supply. You see this supply is a very important part here. Trying to um, cut off their single um, supply source as well is very important, so we are going to just attempt to break through. Once, if the artillery special step is set up, you are way more offensive um, in attacking other units, so it's important to move them before you do that. Um, I also noticed that you can leave this area free and they never seem to engage it for some reason, uh, which is quite strange. But yeah, just trying to push through and um, create pressure on this line. It is, nay, uh, impossible to attack this to extend your supply line, so you are going to be taking out of supply unless you use your, um, your reserve forces, but then you wouldn't be able to achieve a brilliant victory without using prestige. Yeah. So we get the counter response now. This is expected but not brilliant. This is also expected but okay. as long as you don't have the two together it um, means he has to move the f into two separate hexagons. With your partisan ability. So they've just created <laughs> line blocking you from the resource and it does take two turns of being out of supply before you can fully capitalize. Uh-huh, and there we go. With the miracle and we're able to just assault and try to create a breakthrough. Here we go, defending our um, objective. Oh, sorry, our supply source. And also trying to push up. I like to push up from the back units if I know I'm going to be able to cause enough damage. So I can cause, um, so I'm not neglecting these back units. I just found a bit of a to push up from the back. I'm trying to do a little bit of housekeeping so I can get this supply line. Um, but not wasting time with attacks where they're not necessary. <laughs> Trying to push your armor up and through. Not wasting time with these units, if they take the supply, it's perfectly fine, they can't do any damage. Again, using a partisan ability to try to push. Trying to cut off this 
Christmas houses. And building a bridge for the point of it. There's no real reason why. They were out of supply, which was quite nice. Not surprising. Achieving our, dream, our first point. Now, this could have been quite a big problem because there was no way to uh, easily attack and get across the river. But luckily, our armor was able just to um, take that point. Now, I did move out of that because I wanted to be closer to this and in supply. Um, it's possible, but there's no chance that these units can actually retake this, so that was a safe bet. Because our area of control. And we're just able to simply create a line, and in the next turn, they'll be completely cast by. Unable to attack. Doing a bit of a mop up. Not overly useful. And just trying to target one unit so I can create a breakthrough. Though I haven't been able to successfully take their uh, supply point, so they will all still be supplied. But since we achieved the brilliant victory, it doesn't look like it's all that important anyway. Okay, he moves out the counter, he left himself open, so I can take it if I wanted to. I do for the point of it, but considering we have to get a victory on this turn, not as important. Now I'm just trying to throw anything at the units. Oh no, turn 5. Turn 4. That's quite handy. So I'm um, bringing my units up. Even though it's out of supply, it doesn't matter because you can still attack with full support because none of these um, unit parts have been suppressed. So we bring everything up. Just trying to get a bit more of um, in territory. Well, freedom of movement. A bit of a clean up down here. Because why not? Bring our units up here which is not really Needed, but just throwing I use it here because I can. And we got a confine, which is pretty awesome, but still not able to attack. If I do move this unit, it will mean that he will come here and I have something out there before. So it's always important to have a unit at the station there. Now let's just, just throw everything at this point. Throw our heaviest units at it first. If I have to expand them. Ah. Bizarre. Brilliant victory. And that's how it's done. It's very important to push up and keep moving forward. Not be afraid to get out of supply when you have to. Um, but also to keep the pressure on. But there we have, like back here, then we had one line of defense. So it's quite easy um, to come up from the south once you've um, taken these points. And these points are the hardest to get. This is where I always had to restart because I couldn't push my armor up fast enough because they would keep bringing the lines of the fence with their, um, their weaker units, but their weaker units still took up a turn even with overrun. So that's how it's done. I um, hope you've enjoyed this experience and uh, you've gotten the point on how to get a brilliant victory here. Cheerio!